Yo, my name is Benjamin and this is the new ticker effect. Here's how it works. This is a collection list, meaning all content here is sourced from the Framer CMS. And now I can add a continuous animation to these projects by simply selecting the collection list and then heading over to the effect panel and adding our new ticker effect. And this gives me a few very simple properties to control. The speed of the animation, the speed on hover, the direction which we automatically detect and adapt, and a new property called draggable that we'll look into later on. Here, let's slow it down just a little bit by setting speed to 60. And just like that, we have designed this infinitely repeating continuous animation that is completely compatible with existing effects in Framer, like our hover effect that you can see here as well. So not only is it very easy to add, we can also keep editing our layers and content as we normally would. And we can even customize what it looks like in a breakpoint making for an incredibly seamless editing experience and all new responsive ticker designs. Not only does our new ticker effect work on CMS collection lists, we can now also apply it to any stack in Framer. So this stack has the ticker effect applied with hover set to 50 and draggable to yes. And these are just images that have width set to fill and height to auto using our recently introduced fit image sizing. So here you see it also works on stacks and on hover it slows down and it's now draggable with the drag animation transitioning seamlessly into the ticker animation resulting in an interaction that feels incredible yet is so easy to add. Designing responsive tickers in this stack-based setup is also incredibly easy. We could decide to hide a few items in the tablet breakpoint, for example, or on the phone breakpoint, we could decide to give all of the items a fixed width, giving us more control over how our project images render. And when we now give this a preview, you can see we've designed a responsive ticker section with unique layouts for each breakpoint. So for people familiar with the previous Framer ticker, let's summarize what's new. This new ticker effect works with the Framer CMS, can be applied to any stack and can be customized per breakpoint. In fact, we've rebuilt this ticker from the ground up using the new motion component which also means it has improved performance, improved accessibility, and unlocks new drag interactions. Let's look at one final example to end with. Using this new ticker effect, I can also set speed to zero while keeping draggable to yes. And then let's also add a web cursor to our stack here to indicate this section is draggable, and now we have essentially created this infinitely draggable section that we could continue customizing, but would work great on many landing pages and portfolios. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay tuned for more updates coming soon.